Okay, this one asks us um, to prove an identity. This is an identity where we have a complex trick expression equal to a simple trick expression. And sorry, that has to have a negative. Okay, so how are we going to approach that? Well, it's quite simple. The first step is to make everything positive, acute, and simple. The second step, change everything into cos and sine. And the third step is simplify. Uh, do algebraic simplification, pass, cas, and das. Okay, so positive, acute, and simple refers to the angles. And here we see we have an angle of 2a. That is a not a simple angle. That is a compound or double angle. So we're going to simplify that by making this into the left-hand side. Cos of 2t is cos squared t minus sine squared t minus 1 divided by and in the denominator we have sine 2t which becomes 2 sine t cos t okay now the next is change everything into cos and sine well on the left hand side we have everything in terms of cos and sine and now if we have to do algebraic simplification it doesn't seem to be so easy to get to that tan. Okay. Well, one thing we know is that that tan is going to have to be sine t over cos t. Okay. Which means that this sine t is going to have to cancel away with something in the numerator. So in the numerator, we have here the cos squared t minus sine squared t. And we want to get rid of the sine t here. So let's try and write everything in the numerator in terms of sine so that we can cancel the term in the bottom. So in terms of sine, this cos squared t can become 1 minus sine squared t. Okay, and then we have minus sine squared t minus 1. And then we see, ah, oh, that's lovely because 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, this is the numerator. Let's just write down the denominator. 2 sine t cos t. Let's try and keep it in brackets. Okay, and uh, if I simplify the numerator, I hope you see that then I get 1 minus 1 is 0, minus sine 2t minus sine squared t. Sorry, not 2t. Sine squared t gives me negative 2 sine squared t. Okay, and in the denominator, I still have my 2 sine t cos t. And this is where the simplification um, works out beautifully. So we have uh, one of the factors in the numerator of sine cancel with the factor we have in the denominator. The 2 cancel with the 2, and I am in the end left with negative sine t over cos t which is negative tan t.